Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you are doing good. That's great. Okay, students. Today we are going to study English from our book number three. So please open your book number three. In this book, students, you are supposed to open page number forty. So quickly open page number forty now. Now, as you can see on this page, you have been given an exercise, a recap ex exercise. What you have to do in this? Look at the pictures and write the words. Draw the path for the penguin to reach the pond. Okay. So what you have to do in this? This is the penguin. Okay. And this penguin has to reach the pond. Okay. So we have to make this penguin reach the pond. How are we going to do that? For that, we need to solve all these words. Okay, we'll identify these pictures and write down all the words. Where is the pond? As you can see at the bottom, here is the pond. Okay, so we'll draw an arrow as we go through, one by one. Now, starting from here, here is the penguin. Okay, now let's. Start from here. The penguin starts walking, and it reaches over here. What what picture can you see over here? Yes, this is a jet. J E T jet. So write down E T E T jet. Okay. Now after jet. We are going to move further. Where do we reach? What is this? This is a keg. So we are going to write down K E G E G keg. Now, from keg, we move further. Where do we reach? This is red. Color red. So we are going to write down R E D red. E E D. Okay. Then from here onwards, we'll again go back to the same track, and then move further. Now we come here to this picture. What is this? Identify this picture. This is a den. D E N den. So we're going to write down E N. Den. Now moving further, the penguin moves further and reaches here. Now what is this? This is a hen. H e n hen. So we're going to write down e n hen. Now let's move further. The penguin moves further, and then what do you see on the way? This is ten. T e n Ten. So we're going to write down E N ten. Now the penguin moves further again. And where does it reach? What is the next picture? What is this? This is a pen. P E N pen. So we're going to write down E N pen. And then finally, the penguin reaches the pond. Right. And what does what do you see over here? There is a boy who is there in the pond. He is wet. The word is wet. W e t wet. So write down e t wet. So in this way, we have been able to help the penguin reach the pond. I hope this fun exercise is clear to you. How you have to do it? Please do it in the same way in your books, book number three on page number fourteen. After we have done this, please move on to the next page, which is page number fifteen. Now, on page number fifteen, as you can see, you have been given an exercise. It's mentioned. Look at the picture and circle the correct word. Now, what you have to do in this? Firstly, you will identify the picture. Then, you have been given two words. You are going to circle the correct word. Like the two words which have been given to us are L E D lead, R E D red. 
Now both of these are ED sound words right which we have already studied in ED cluster. Now tell me which is the correct word what is this this is color red. So we are going to circle the word red. Now come to the next picture what do you see over here is this a den D E N den or is this a pen P E N pen. You have studied these words in E N sound clusters right. Now tell me what is the answer yes this is den. So we are going to circle the word encircle the word den. Now come on to the next picture try and identify it. What do you see there is a doctor who is holding a dog in his hand and you can see he is in circle so you are supposed to tell what which kind of doctor is this and what is the correct word is it wet or wet. You remember I have taught you ET sound words both these words sound the same but have different meanings. Yes this is a wet, wet means a veterinary doctor. So we are going to encircle the word wet. Now moving on to the next image what do you see over here? Is this a peg P E G peg or is this a leg L E G leg. You have studied these words in E G sound words try and identify it yes this is a peg. So we are going to encircle the word peg ok students. So I hope this exercise is clear to you. Now moving on to the next exercise which is write three words for each of these. Now what you have to do in this you have been given all the clusters which we have already studied and you are going to write down three words for each of the given cluster. Let us begin with the first one. The first one is E D A A D D Ed. Now come on tell me three words the first word is bed B E D bed. The next word is red R E D red and the next word is fed F E D fed. Now moving on to the next one E G E G cluster E A G G egg. Now tell me three words from E G cluster. Yes the first word is peg peeper E A G G peg. The next word is leg L E G leg and the third word is keg K E G keg ok. Now moving on to the next cluster what do you see over here is written E N E A N N N. Now tell me three words from the E N cluster quickly yes the first word is den D E N den. The next word is ten T E N ten and the next word is hen H E N hen. Now moving on to the last cluster E T cluster E A T T et. Now tell me three words from E T cluster quickly. Yes the first word is pet peeper E A T T pet. The second word is J J E A T T jet. The next word is met M -a E A T T met. Okay. So let's quickly revise them. E D bed red and fed. E G peg leg and keg. E N den ten and hen. E T pet jet and met. 
So I hope students this exercise is also clear to you. You are supposed to do it in the same way in your books, book number 3, page number 15 and you are supposed to complete both these exercises in the same way. That was all for the day students. Thank you. Bye bye and take care and stay safe against COVID-19.